Hi! In this video, I'm going to be covering a little bit more about how you can make it so your users can access your course content and sign up for your memberships that gives them access to those courses. This video assumes that you've watched the one above it previously, so if you haven't done that, please be sure to do so now. Here you can see the courses that I've created, the WP Advanced course being one that's added that I did in between making the last video and this one. So if you want to get a good idea for kind of what my content looks like, I'll just show you my beginner's course. So this is the course parent course um, where people will be able to go to access the various lessons associated with this course, such as how to create pages and posts, how to add menus, and some powerful plugins that I recommend that they use. So to get a feel for what these different lessons look like, let me just open these up for you so you can see what they look like. So here's my first course with some content, or my first lesson here, which is a child course uh, with some content on it. Here is lesson two, and here is lesson three. So all of them have content on them, right? Um, but as you can see here, all of these courses are set to public right now and I want them to be uh, private so that only users who have an active membership to my WP Beginners Course membership will be able to access them. So before I get into how you create a membership in MemberPress, let me just go over some basic settings in MemberPress that help make the rest of this video make sense. So going into my settings of MemberPress, the Pages tab, I want to show you that I have a default unauthorized message set up that basically tells the users, hey, it looks like you don't have a membership to access this content or you're not logged in. So, you know, here are those sign up forms that you can access. And I have this option selected so that a login form will show up on my unauthorized page. I also need a way for users to be able to pay me. And for the testing purposes of this video, I've set up an offline payment gateway, which is pay by check. I've also not selected this option so that when I check out, it'll complete automatically. That's just for ease of use in this video. So let's get into how you can create a membership in MemberPress. You do that by going to the Memberships tab here. And you'll notice I already have my WP Beginners course. So I'm going to go ahead and click Add New to create my WP Advanced course. So I went ahead and gave that a name. And next, I'm going to go over to the terms to decide how much users are going to pay me for that access. Now, this is my advanced course, so I think it's a pretty big deal compared to my beginner course. So I'm actually going to make it $500 one time for life so that users can access that course and go through it at their own rate. And then click Publish. Now, MemberPress is cool in that you don't actually have to enter any content here. Simply just create Publish and the course will be created for you, or the membership will be created for you with all the necessary information for your users. So here you can see my title and also the price and then the various user information fields that the users have to select. When they click Sign Up after having filled out these forms, they will be taken to my payment page where they'll see the payment and be able to review it and all that good stuff. So with this membership created, let's go over how you can make it easier for your users to access your content. And one powerful way to do that through WordPress is through menu items. So going into the appearance and then menus tab, I'll be able to do that. Now, one of the important things you need to do first is come up into the screen options tab seen here and then make sure that you basically just have all of these selected, right? So I'm going to make sure that courses is selected, which will allow these courses to appear in my menu options, right? To be able to add to my menu. Um, groups is for member press. In this case, I'm not going to really use it for this video, but you know, just make sure it's selected. And then memberships, which is to link to the registration pages of the memberships that I've created. So just doing that will allow those to auto-populate here, no need to click save or anything. So you see the courses here and memberships here. So right now my menu is pretty simple. It just has an account and a login option. But I want to be able to add a sign-up form along with different links to my courses. So for this video, I'm going to be focusing on my WP Beginners course. So let's start by clicking on the memberships tab here selecting WP Beginners Course. This is the membership registration page again and click Add to Menu. Then you can just move this around to put it where you need it to be. And I'm going to put it here, 
Selecting the drop down will give you further options. And I want to name this something different. Just so that users have a good idea of what this means, right? And then I'm going to click Save Menu. So that will add the menu item into this main menu on my website. Now, like I said before, I also want to be able to have a menu item that makes it easy for users to be able to access the course no matter where they're at on my site since my menu will appear on every page, right? So coming into this courses option here, you'll see all the courses are selected here. They all show up, right? So I want to click the, one, the options for all of my courses for the associated with the WP Beginners course, both the parent course and the child courses, which are the lessons, and then click Add to Menu. I want this initial course, though, to appear here in my menu. And then by dragging these and making them indented like this, connects them so that they are underneath that menu item. Okay, And then just make sure that they're in the right order. So that's lesson, lesson 3, lesson 1, and we'll put lesson 2 here in the middle. So that will allow those courses to show up there. Now if you're wondering how you can maybe further customize your menu, I encourage you to check out our, our user manual where we have a special page dedicated to um, you know, working with your menus. In particular, how you can hide or show various menu items based on the active status of a membership that a user has and or if they are logged into your website or not. Right, so for example, maybe I wouldn't want this to show for anyone who actually has that subscription, so I could just set it to hide for anyone who has an active subscription to this membership. Um, and maybe I uh, don't want to show, you know, my my login link for people who are already logged in. So you know, those are some some examples. But yeah, please check that out for some more information on how to set that up. So I'm going to go ahead and save this menu, and then take you to the front end of my website so you can see what this looks like now. So just in an incognito window for testing purposes, you'll see here that I've got my account tab here with the login option, my sign up for WP Beginners course, which is the membership sign up page, remember, and my uh, WP Beginners course option here with my various lessons connected to it. So if I click here, I'll be taken to my course. And then if I click here, I'll be taken to my course home page, right, instead of the registration page with the various lessons offered. And as you can see, I haven't signed up for anything, yet I have access to all of the courses. So what we need to do now is create some rules to protect those courses. So again, going to my courses tab, you'll see that all of these are set to public. And let's focus on this WP Beginners course. So to create a rule, you're going to go to the MemberPress plugin and then go to the Rules tab. Here, click Add New. The first thing I want to do is create a specific rule for my home course uh, post, right? Which is the course parent uh, post. And so I'm going to use this drop down here to select a single course. And then I'm going to start typing to find that course. So here's my WP Beginners course. I'm going to select that. And then I want the membership type to be the WP beginners course which is the membership connected to this membership to this course so that, that way the user has to have an active subscription to this membership to be able to access this course click save rule now for you maybe you don't want to create a single course rule for that parent course um, maybe you want that to be public but then you want the individual child courses or lessons to be protected in that case you wouldn't need this rule um, but I thought I'd show it to you. To create a new rule, because I still need to protect my child courses, I'm going to click Add New. And then in the drop down, I'm going to select Child Courses Of. Here, again, just start typing and it, the options will appear. Now, the, this is the Child Courses Of the parent course, which again is going to be this option. So it's actually the same as what it was for the last rule. And for membership type, make sure that WP Beginners course is set so that that access is correct. And then I'm going to click Save Rule. Now when I go to my courses, they should be protected. So as you can see, under this access column, that membership in MemberPress has been uh, highlighted and it's red to show that users have to have access or an active subscription to this membership to get access to this content, right? 
So if I were to view this content in an incognito window, what should happen is I'm taken to my unauthorized message, right? So the title here appears, but underneath it, there's that message, right? Saying, hey, you don't have an active subscription to this membership or you're not logged in. So why don't you do one of those things? And so I have those links here to sign up and my login page if the user maybe needs to log in. So just to kind of show you what the user might do, I'll click here on the WP Beginners Course sign up link and then enter in my user information. Okay, so there you go. I entered in some of that information. I'm gonna click sign up. And then here's that page where I'm going to review my payment and I'm going to click submit. So I'm taking to my thank you page. My subscription has been set up successfully. And if I go to my account page in MemberPress, you'll be able to see that on the subscriptions tab, I have an active membership to my WP beginners course. Those are my terms. It never expires. The payments tab just has a, some additional information like when the payment happened and you know what the method was and the specific invoice number associated with it. So knowing that I have an active subscription, I should be able to access this course now. So if I click on this link here, you'll see that I have access where previously I did not. Click on the lesson here and I can see all the content for lesson one. I could also go to lesson two and to lesson three. So as you can see, I have the appropriate access. Now, if I were to show you what this looks like in MemberPress for this user, going to the subscriptions tab, and then the non-recurring tab, since this was a one-time payment, I can see all that same information here as admin. I can further click on this transaction ID here to see some more information regarding what this user paid me. That's it. I hope that you found this video helpful and informative in terms of how you can grant access uh, to your course content through the instructions that we've provided here. Now in this video, I haven't been able to outline everything, so if you have further questions, please review the written instructions included below this video. Feel free to reach out to us if you have any additional thoughts or concerns as well. And we look forward to having you continue with us on our MemberPress team. Thank you.